Hi, I'm Jim Downs and this is a Ride Apart How To. Today we're going to go through the basic steps for uh, removing a uh, hazard from a motorcycle tire and plugging it with a patch kit. Um, it seems pretty straightforward. If you follow the instructions on patch kits, you're probably doing an okay job. But there's a couple little things uh, that I've learned from experience that may help you out. Okay, so here are the tools we're going to need. Uh, you'll need a plug patch kit. Uh, this one is from Stop and Go, and it includes a rasp tool, like a scraper, uh, the plugger device, the nozzle, a uh, hex wrench, uh, a blade, uh, the plugs themselves, and a pair of pliers. And of course, you'll need some means of reinflating your tire because uh, you're probably going to lose a lot of the air in the process. Okay, so uh, getting to uh, actually removing, uh, fixing the, the flat on the tire. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is, uh, you know, find where the flat is. This one's super obvious. Sometimes it's not, uh, but this is like a pretty huge monster nail here. So first thing we want to do is use the pliers and work the nail out. Looks like this guy's got a curve in it. So the last thing I want to do is do a bunch of damage to the tire as I'm removing it. So some people say like if it's ain't broke, don't fix it. But I'd rather get to this here than when I'm in the middle of nowhere. And there goes all the air from the tire. As you can see, that was a pretty serious nail. The next thing we're going to want to do is uh, with um, like the probe poker tool, I want to kind of get a feel for what the damage is in there. Is there, is there uh, more nail in there? Did it break off inside the tire? So you can use the poker to kind of feel around. And this feels like I got it pretty well. It looks like it really went in at an angle. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, use uh, the rasp tool. This is a scraper. Uh, and we're going to use it to uh, scrape out the inside of the hole. And what this will do is give the inside of the tire, it'll rough it up so that the plug has something to grab on a little better. Um, this is the plug here. It's, it's a mushroom plug. There's different kinds of setups uh, for plug kits. Some require like a tire glue, like a rubber cement. Uh, I prefer these because they're a little simpler. You don't need any glue that can dry out when it sits in your tool kit for years and it becomes... Uh, useless. Um, so with the rasp, you just want to work it into the hole. This hole is like perfectly nail sized, so it it's like the perfect kind of flat for fixing with a plug. This one's like has a thread on it, so it can kind of help you work it in and out. Also helps you know clean up any additional debris if there's another metal splinter in there. Uh, the nail was easy to find, but sometimes it's like not real clear what your flat is if you like caught a piece of wire or like a staple that really gets jammed in under the tire surface, you, it's not real obvious. This one was a monster nail, so pretty straightforward. And notice I'm working along the same direction that the, tire, that the nail went in, and that was so that, you know, I'm not making a new hole while I'm at it. So we've scored up the hole, kind of roughs it up, helps clear debris, gives the plug something to stick to. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do um, is with the stop and go kit, um, it has a sort of screw down uh, press device that puts the mushroom plug uh, mushroom side first into the hole. Uh, so uh, you take the mushroom and you put it into the plugger with the stem down, just like that. And then using the nozzle poker or you know whatever tools around, this one's good because it's just the right size. Um, you press the mushroom down into the plugger so that it's down below the surface there, down into the plugger like that. Uh, and then we're going to use the nozzle, nozzle plugger uh, on the poker device like this, and we're going to screw that onto the plugger device itself. Uh, and this is going to help us uh, set our guide into the hole. So using the plug like that, we're going to follow the line of the hole that we made, and we're going to press that all the way into the into the hole that we've rasped out. And then from there, we're gonna unscrew the poker. And now the plugger is into the hole of the tire. So from there, we go back to our plug device and that threads right down 
onto the nozzle. It's securely into the hole itself. We're going to use the hex wrench that came with the plug kit and we're going to begin threading the plug it, uh, which forces the plug down through the nozzle mushroom head first into the tire. Turning it clockwise you turn it all the way down so turning it clockwise you turn it all the way down and it begins to force the little mushroom head down into the the hole that you've rasped out in the tire. So you turn this all the way around until it reaches its stop and from here we're going to pull the nozzle and the screw off and what we'll have is the head of our tire plug or the back of it sticking out of the hole in the tire. From here this is where from experience um, and doing it uh, a few times that didn't really matter I've learned that the directions that at least came with this particular kit are not a hundred percent right at least in my experience working. Um, the directions that come with the kit says that you want to grab this plug here with the pair of pliers and pull it out two inches. This seats the mushroom head against the this seats the mushroom head against the back of the tire, but by pulling it out the full two inches, I found that it's pulled the mushroom head out. So what I'll do is I'll just grab it, you know, maybe about an inch, inch and a half, just to where the the head of the the, the plug you feel it kind of seat up against where the hole is. I've pulled it out too far and it's actually pulled the plug out completely or it didn't seat right because I pulled it too hard. Uh, if you follow the directions specifically, what it'll say is to cut this off now and then fill the tire up. But if you've, if you've cut the edge of this plug off with the razor that's provided, what'll happen is, and you didn't do a seal, it just makes it more difficult to pull this guy out and try again. All right, so let's uh, fill up the tire and uh, see if our plug is holding air. Okay, so I got my little portable air compressor hooked up to the tire. Our plug is in. Let's see if it holds air. All right, so we've used the air compressor and we've uh, filled up the tire. The specs for the rear tire uh, for street use is uh, about 43 pounds. I let it stop. I'm taking a look at it and it seems to be holding the air really well. We'll keep an eye on it for a bit while we get straightened up, but that worked out pretty well. Okay, so the final step, uh, what you want to do is remove the excess part of the plug down to the tire so that it doesn't grip on anything. So you just, without cutting into the tire, use the sharp blade to cut along the edge of the plug uh, and discard the rest of the plug so that it sits flush with the tire there. The pressure is still holding at 43 pounds, so we're looking good. A few things in review. Uh, when you're done putting the plug in the hole, don't pull it out too hard you'll end up pulling the mushroom right out of the hole. So keep that in mind. And before you cut the stem of the plug off, you wanna fill your tire up so that you have something to get the plug out if uh, it didn't take. The first time you do it, it might take a couple times. That's why it's a good idea to practice on a tire that you're done with or about to replace, just to get a feel for how to do it. So if I can do this, I'm a terrible mechanic. You can do this and save yourself some money and get yourself out of a jam on the road. For Ride Apart How-To, I'm Jim Downs.